Is racism considered a public health crisis? Virginia lawmakers say it is, and so do educators in Hampton Roads. Alex Littlehales reports on the latest step to improve equality in Virginia. Virginia's black history started near the waters of Hampton Roads. And centuries later, after the first Africans came to Virginia, another milestone could be coming to the Commonwealth. I think that in Virginia, we still have groups of people who do not believe that racism is, exists. Lawmakers have pushed House Joint Resolution 537 to the desk of Governor Ralph Northam. If he signs it, racism would officially be declared a public health crisis in the state. And there would be certain policies to improve equity for all Virginians. Dr. Narkita Sparkman Key at Old Dominion University says it is Virginia's historically racist past that has taken a medical toll on minorities. It's the, the ways in which racism impede on all these other different factors. ODU's Marvin Childs, with a PhD in African American history, says racist policies cast influence across the state. Cities like uh, Richmond, Norfolk, uh, when they became big, bigger entities or modern entities in the early 20th century, blacks were segregated out of the nicer sides of town. The measure, sponsored by Central Virginia Delegate La Charisse Aird, lists five steps to address systemic racism in the state. Just one example, the permanent creation of a commission to look at racial inequity in Virginia law. Both Sparkman Key and Childs agreeing it's a good first step, with more work still to be done. Like uh, substandard housing, uh, low rates of education, um, and how things like that have health, have actual health outcomes. In Hampton, Alex O'Hales. 13 News Now. President of the Virginia NAACP reacted to the news, saying in part the group expects nothing less than Governor Ralph Northam's approval of this resolution. Virginians of color, especially black Virginians, deserve no further delays of the Commonwealth's public recognition of this century's old crisis. If signed into law, Virginia will become the first state in the South to declare racism as a public health crisis.